Remember to like, subscribe, hit the bell, comment, share. Everything you do does help the channel. And if you want to help out more, head over to my Patreon and try to get yourself a mug or a sticker. So in this video, we're going to be going over how to buy Zippos online and not getting ripped off. And we're going to be going over how to buy uh, used, vintage, uh, rare Zippos, anything like that. So for the first example today, we're going to be going over this lot. There's 12 Zippos there. Uh, the starting bid is at $22.50. Uh, very fair. And you're going to see that a lot of these Zippos are from uh, 70s, 60s. I think I even seen a 50s in there. And then only a few early thousands and uh, maybe a 90s in there. Uh, this was a good lot of Zippos to buy. Like it wasn't uh, very expensive. Uh, I think this thing ended up selling for $150 U USD. Uh, pretty fair for the amount of Zippos you got if you break it down what everyone would have been worth, especially the older ones. Uh, this was definitely a fair deal and I wanted to start off with a fair deal so everybody knew. Now this next lot of Zippos is uh, six Slims you get. Uh, they're all pretty old, like they're all like 60s and 70s and things like that Slims. Uh, there's some popular brands on them uh some of them are worth pretty good money like not like expensive money or anything but it's selling for 200 dollars off the hop plus shipping uh, this would have cost me like 300 dollars canadian it just wouldn't have been worth it for me i only value each of those slims none of them have box or anything like that it says in the description uh, i only value these things probably at 25 bucks each 30 bucks each uh 70 slims uh just aren't that rare and that valuable uh, do I think that's a bad deal though? For me, it would be uh, just as a as a collector. I'm not trying to resell or anything like that. But even if you bought that whole lot and pieced them all up and sold them, uh, I, I still think you'd only get probably around that. Maybe you know, make a hundred dollars profit, fifty dollars profit. It really depends if people want to buy them or not. Uh, but is that a bad deal? No, I don't think it's a bad deal. And it did sell. Somebody did want it. Uh, I just, it just wasn't for me. And I'm just trying to show examples of how things could be for you or me. It depends what you're looking for. All right, this next lot is just a bad pick for me. The title claims that these are all vintage rare. Uh, there's, what is there? 10 Zippo is there. And, uh, you know, none of them really that vintage, that rare. And he wants 200 bucks for the whole collection. So at 200 bucks, you value each of those Zippos at 20 bucks. But I don't think a regular early thousands or late 90s Bradford USA Zippo is worth, uh, you know, 20 bucks each, 30 bucks each. I really don't think they are, you know, used especially. They're only probably about 10, 15 bucks. Uh, it's just, to, if you need to buy 10 lighters for 20 bucks each, I, I don't know, I, I could get 10 brand new lighters for 20 bucks each. Why would I get 10 used lighters for 20 bucks each that aren't any, any one of them I could see are very collectible or rare? Uh, I could be wrong, but even if they were, I wouldn't even want them. I didn't really like any of the Zippos on there. But if I were to get them for $10 each, that's a different story. But that just wasn't a really good deal for me. It doesn't sit well with me. I just rather would have bought all brand new ones for that price. All right, this is another bad deal for me, and I'm going to tell you why. You get a, a couple street chromes, brush chromes, a brass, a Venetian, uh, some brick company, and some racing tire Zippo. Uh, for $200 American for this lot, uh, for eight Zippos, it's not really worth it for me. This would cost me $300 Canadian, and uh, <laughs> it just it, it doesn't make sense. Like I said, for that price, for eight Zippos, I, I could get all brand new, better ones than this. I None of these are rare, vintage, or collectible. Who cares if they're never fired? They're uh, Zippos nobody wants, very general, run-of-the-mill Zippos. I just I totally don't agree with uh, lots like that so be very aware don't I, I wouldn't purchase that if you just look at how many zippos there are what the price is and if it's 20 30 dollars a zippo for just 10 year old 20 year old zippos it's not worth it it's you would i'd rather just buy brand new ones but why would i get those they're not vintage they're not collectible they're not anything all right this next lot of vintage zippos here uh they are all vintage, but they are, and they're all advertising ones, but they are all heavily used, a uh, lot of wear on these Zippos, and uh, I only actually value them at, at 20 bucks a piece, and there's two in there that I actually value a little higher than the others, uh, they'd probably sell for a little more, uh, and it, this is only seven lighters, so with that all said, you know, I think you are overpaying for that collection, uh, by a little bit, by like 30, 40 bucks, uh, 
there's not a lot of the guy knows what they're what they're worth and he's he's putting them exactly that and he, he wants a little meat on the bones for his collection too i guess and that's what it really seems like in that it's not a bad deal it's just not one i would bite on this one here the guy was very fair on he started it off at 16 dollars and uh, I think it only ended up sending for 50, 70 bucks or something like that. Well worth it. All actual vintage lighters. Uh, you got a variation of them uh, for anyone collecting. They are heavily used. That's why it went for cheaper. Uh, this was a fair, this was a fair lot. It went for a fair price. It wasn't a bad buy at all. And for anyone looking to just get some vintage lighters, that's probably what you want to pay uh, for that type of wear. Uh, I hope this is helping. Now these are just a complete ripoff. That solid brass Zippo on the left sells for uh, $15 brand new and then the one beside it's just a regular brass. I think it, you could get it for 18. Uh th these are selling for $80 American plus shipping. Uh, it, what a bad deal this is. For that much money I can buy four Armor high polish brass Zippos. Why on earth would I get two 90s or whatever these are thousands i think they're early thousands i can't remember but it, it's a very bad deal i just i would never buy them uh it just doesn't make sense they'd never be worth that much money this is definitely a bad buy all right this is just another bad example of highway robbery two regular brass lighters from the 90s selling for 199 american 300 dollars <laughs> Canadian it would cost me for these two 90s brass zippos that are not collectible not rare at all be be aware of things like this you're gonna see this all over the internet of people trying to get more than what the lighter's actually worth and now to some of the most scammed lighters on the internet the Niagara Falls I don't know where these prices come from these are just absurd uh, none of these are worth any of these this one is not worth that I would never pay for that uh, I'm getting these lighters for forty, fifty dollars. Why would I? How on earth would I pay two, three hundred dollars for them? Uh, I'm just going th through, and I'm just letting it play through. It, it's just crazy expensive prices. Now that gasoline one might be actually worth a hundred. Uh, this one too, probably a hundred. Uh, for the Dupont, never would pay three hundred dollars American for that. That is a rip off. A lot of the Zippos I'm showing you here, guys, are still online. I took these pictures a month ago. If you go, if you type in Niagara Falls Zippos on eBay, all these Zippo shows. This Canadian flag one that you just seen there, it shows up so many times. How so? How is it being defined as rare? Is every six Zippos, it's that Zippo for sale. Uh, and a lot of these too, you just see overpriced. You've seen a hundred dollars for a measuring tape. Uh, Limp Wicks got one for twenty. Why would I buy that? This one right here would cost me almost four hundred dollars. It's in British pounds. Uh, I emailed the lady, and she actually told, she actually uh, complained and sweared at me for even telling her that it wasn't worth that. I paid ten dollars for that Zippo, by the way. So, and now we're gonna move on. And now the final worst thing to buy Zippos from is the Bradford Exchange. These claim to be collectible Zippos. The reason why you would buy collectible Zippos is because it goes up in price. But if you could please find me one instance where one of these sets went for more than what somebody actually paid for them all, I'll give you a cookie because it's not out there. I've never seen it. Sons of Anarchy ended almost a decade ago. So if... <laughs> that's what and there's only 10,000 of these and they still haven't sold out of them because nobody's buying them uh when you break it down okay you got to pay 59.99 per zippo and then 59.99 for the case so this uh sons of anarchy set would have what is that nine zippos plus case that equals 10 payments of $60. That's $600 for this set. Please show me online where this set is selling for more than $600. You will never get your money back. Why would I want a chrome Zippo with a, either a sticker or a printed picture on it? Like They're not even really that nice. I'm going to be honest here. I'm trying not to throw them under the bus, but they're not that great. And they only have actually a few sets. They only have six sets available. Uh, I just don't see these ever being that collectible. Uh, Someone tried to make an argument with me that, oh, well, this Playboy one sold for $300. Okay, well, it was a nine-piece set with the display case. It cost, cost someone 700 bucks, and it sold for 300 and so it sold for less than half than what Buddy paid for it. Like, come on, man. Don't, don't try to argue with me with, uh, with really bad results because it didn't prove anything. 
And even these uh, ones here, the John Wayne and the Harley Davidson, uh, both $700 sets if you want the whole thing. Uh, this video will be on YouTube for 20 years. I can't wait for the comment one day, 20 years from now, where Buddy gets to say, oh, look, it, it sold more than $700 because it'll never happen. I'll be waiting for that comment. And then the last two sets they have on Bradford Exchange are these two uh, dragon and eagle sets. Uh, I honestly do like the display case, but is the it's a seventy dollar display case, and then <clears throat> and that's all you really get. You could fit eight zippos in there, but that doesn't really hold a lot of zippos. It looks cool on a desk or something like that, I guess. I'm not going to sit here and knock the display cases. They are really cool, but I'm not going to buy the whole collection for five hundred dollars or six hundred dollars just to get that thing. Uh, definitely not. Uh, but it, it is cool, and if I see one on sale for $20 on eBay, I'll pick it up, but uh, as a centerpiece, it's not really that great, uh, and like I said, it holds the Zippo standing up like that, I think they'd easily fall out of there, to be honest, so thanks for watching, let me know what you think about these in the comments, uh, what did you think, uh, what are you looking for, I'm going to have more videos in the future with more.